Today's Gospel, Monday, March 28, is from St. John chapter 4, verse 43 to 54. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee. For Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his own native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son, who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While he was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him the fever left him yesterday, about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, Your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Brother Ariel Agsalud of the ACT. Sir, come down before my child dies. The official who initially wanted Jesus to accompany him to his sick child simply believed the words Jesus spoke to him. Go, your son will live. Jesus healed the boy with his words alone. Faith is an invitation to go beyond what we can see, touch, and measure. It is a leap from the dark into the light. Healing is a sign of God's presence. It is also a manifestation of his love to all of us if we believe in him. Let us approach God's words with new eyes and ears, in wonder and in faith. Ang Diyos ay mabuti at nice niya na tayo ay mapunta sa mabuting kalagayan. Hindi tayo pahindihan ni Jesus kapag tayo ay lumalapit sa Kanya para sa ating kagalingan. Tayo ay may iba't ibang uri ng karamdaman. Ito ay maaaring pisikal, emosyonal o spiritual. Kadalasan tayo ay pinanghihinaan ng loob kapag nakikita natin na ang ating mahal sa buhay ay nasa bingit ng kamatayan. Kung tayo ay may pananalig kay Jesus na kaya niyang gumawa ng Himala, tayo ay makakaasa na may babalik tayo sa buhay na kasiyasiya at puno ng pag-asa. Walang imposible sa Diyos, kaya tayo ay magpasalamat ng lubos sa Kanyang kagandahang loob. Let us pray. Lord, Heal us from our sickness that we may serve you faithfully. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.